Hello everybody and welcome to the beginning of the stock analysis trading and back testing series. Um, kind of making a new beginning to the series. Uh, the original series started with the back testing, which I think was kind of popping in a little too quick. So I'm um, going to be making some uh, new videos here to begin this series. And what we're going to be doing is starting with the absolute basics, which is it, starting with acquiring some prices. So where are we going to actually get the prices? And then once we have the prices, what are we going to do with them? Generally, people are going to want to display it somehow. Um, so obviously you could just like put it into like an Excel sheet and display it, or we can use the um, charting capabilities of Python that comes with uh, matplotlib. And um, I do have a full matplotlib series on my channel as well. So I will be showing you guys at least some of the basics uh, in this series. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin with just acquiring some prices. So obviously there's a lot of ways you can get prices. You can either buy prices, um, like if you want really, really high granularity basically of prices, you're going to have to pay for that usually. Um, but probably later on I'll be showing you guys where you can go to get some really high quality data absolutely for free. Um, but that's going to be in a later video. And uh, so anyways, how can we actually just begin getting some, uh, some data? So we're going to use uh, Yahoo, which actually gives us a bit of an API. Um, not really sure if they mean to leave this here all the time or what. But um, let me give you guys an example of uh, the Yahoo API. So if we open up our browser and one sec. And within our browser, we have, hmm, let's see, I guess I'll move this over so you can see the full link. But, uh, you know, we'll be typing it out anyways. But it's chartapi.finance.yahoo.com as an instrument. And then right here, this is kind of code for you can put any stock you want in this link. And then over here, you can, um, well, it's going to give us a quote, another thing there. But here is another thing that you can edit. So like we could say one year and that's going to give us one day open, high, low, close, or you can do something as small as like 10 D for 10 days. And that will give us, uh, I think it's every five minutes, but we'll see in just a second. So let's say we uh, highlight this and we do AAPL hit enter. And now let me pull this over here. You see, there's some stuff up here that we don't want, but then pretty quickly we get into the just raw data here. And as you can see, it's uh, once a day, six, seven, eight, and then the weekend, and then again, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, weekend, and so on. And we've got, you know, obviously the date here, it's in a funky format, but I'll show you guys how we can work around that if we want to graph it. And then we've got some numbers here. I forget what, I think it's like open, low, high, let's see what it is. Close, high, low, open, and then volume. And then yes, I will also be showing you guys how we can even chart volume in a typical volume chart. And probably we'll do at least like moving averages and maybe some other basic forms of analysis that I'll show you guys how to do. But a lot of people want to do like their specific stuff, but uh, we'll get to it. So anyway, this is how we are going to acquire the data. We're just going to be using this chart API from Yahoo. Um, another thing I'll just show you real quick is what Yahoo does and kind of throws you a curveball. But as you can see, the date is kind of like written out here, right? It's 2012. I put in one year, right? So it's a year uh, from today. Um, and then 08, which is our month, and then the 27th, which is our day. But as soon as you go for higher granularity, like let's say we do, instead of one year, we do 10 days. Hit enter. Oops, we had 10D. Uh, I don't think it's going to read that. Uncaps it. Okay. Now you see all of a sudden that it's giving us these funky funky numbers here. Now, if you're not familiar with programming, this is called a Unix timestamp. And so we're going to have to convert that timestamp into you know a date time format that we can then plot, uh, which again, I will be showing you guys how to do, so don't worry. But this data is a little bit better granularity. As you can see, it is, well, if Unix timestamp, the way it works, it's, it's a the count of seconds after January 1st, 1970. So basically, it's in seconds. So this goes 299, then 599, so 300 seconds. 
And uh, so the granularity here is 300 divided by 60, which is actually five. So it's five minutes open, high, low, close data and volume. So actually it's pretty good data. It's not good enough if you wanna do like high frequency trading, though I think there's a lot less people interested in doing high frequency trading uh, with stocks. You need a lot of money to do it. It's not very efficient unless you're extremely wealthy, but some people still do it, and so maybe that's what you want. In that case, you'd need to buy your own data. But if you're extremely wealthy enough to uh, high-frequency trade stocks, chances are you can afford to buy the data. So uh, I don't know why you'd be watching this video. So anyways, um, that's just some of the basics of this Yahoo API. There are other ways to acquire data, and as we get in uh, further into this, uh, I will be showing you guys some data that's a lot higher granularity and pretty good quality data. But that's going to be for some more advanced tutorials for sure. Um, so to start off, this is the data that we're going to use. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So to begin this tutorial, uh, the only thing that you're going to need is the Python programming language. If you don't have the Python programming language, never fear. I will show you guys how to download it. So what you're going to want to do is open up your browser. Let me drag mine down. And you're going to want to find your way to python.org. And once you're there, you're going to want to go to the download section. Once you get to the download page, uh, you'll see that there's actually two versions of Python. There's 2.7x and then obviously 3.3x. And the one that we want is 2.7. Now, it depends on you know what operating system you're on as far as what you download. I uh, will just mention that if you're on, if you have a 64-bit operating system, you could download the 32, but definitely get the 64 because it's going to help you out later. Um, if you're on Windows, then just click on the Windows installer. That's pretty easy. It'll download this uh, Python 2.7 MSI. All you'll have to do is just run through it. The installer is really, really simple. Just run through it. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to go and install it again. Um, but yeah, it's a very basic installation. Once you're done, you should be able to go to like your start bar and type in like Python. And you should be able to click something that comes up and looks, I don't know, something like this, but it's probably going to be a, look maybe a little different. But at the top, you should see that you're running Python 2 point something point whatever. And it should look something close to this. It might say 32-bit, and, you know, your operating system might be different. But anyway, that's how you're going to install Python. Uh, if you're uncomfortable with Python or how to use Python, um, I'll try to go kind of slow through these tutorials, but I do have a lot of Python tutorials in my channel. So if you're lagging behind or maybe you want to learn a bit more about a specific topic, definitely, definitely check out my channel and the other uh, videos that I cover on the Python programming language since it's pretty much my main language that I use. I really like it. So um, with that, I'm going to conclude this video. In the next video, we're going to be um, beginning to pull that data from Yahoo, and I'll show you guys how to do some really cool stuff with Python and pulling the data. And then later on, we'll be charting it and then doing some basic analysis. So. As always, uh, thank you for watching, thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.